All right, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. For most of you, good evening. You're checking out Smart, and the crew is here. I've seen them all. They're, you guys are early. What are you doing so early? You guys are good students. What's going on here? All right, let's jump into it. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Gertrudis is number one. You are the champion, Gertrudis. That's it. Edgar, the close number two. Very nice. Lolly, drop into number three. What's up, guys? How you doing? Julian's in the house. What's up, buddy? Gertrudis is an early bird. You are right in there. Lollipop is in the house. Is that your new nickname, Lolly? Is it Lollipop? Uh, who else we got here? You guys, <laughs> you guys have been hanging out for a while. Albina, what's up? Alex, what's up? How you doing, brother? And Pilar's in the house. There's Pilar. How you doing, Pilar? Gigi. Hello, Gigi. Is it Gigi or Gigi? I'm not too sure. Anyways, they're both fun to say. Stitch is in the house. What's up, Stitch? The little guy, right? Little Disney guy. Uh, who else we got in here? Hello, Korean person. I don't know your name. I can't read Korean. Uh, S Judith is here. What's up, Judith? How you doing? All right, the crew is here. The veterans are here. I love it. Silvio's in the house. What's up, brother? Uh, Vlad is in the house. What's up, Vlad? How you doing? And uh, who else we got in here? Mukhtar is in the house. What's up, brother? Good evening to you. Rudy, how's it going? You're new here. Well, jump in, Rudy. Get into us. Uh, get into the smart stuff, because that was what we're doing today. I can't speak. Uh, we're talking about TV shows today. So it's not listed there, but we are talking about TV shows. So I'm just setting this up here. So now that I've said good morning to everybody, let me set this up. So let me start you off with the question of the day before people start screaming and getting crazy because I know you love your questions of the day. So let's jump into that. So here they are. Go ahead. While I'm setting this up, you guys can please discuss that question of the day. We're going to talk about TV shows. So let's, let's prep this the right way. Let's look at a few TV shows uh, and let's see what you got because there's a bunch of good ones out there. If you're not watching TV these days, you're kind of missing out. You should kind of be watching some TV. There's some good stuff to watch. So let's scroll through a bit. Let's get a few ideas going here. Here's a few that are going on right now. A little Superman. Is that new? 2017. You know what? Let's just do let's just do the Google click here. So here we go. And there it is. My fave, Game of Thrones. Boom! In your face. We're going to talk a little bit about Game of Thrones today. Uh, better Call Saul. If you've seen Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul is apparently a spin-off of Breaking Bad. So if you like that one, you might want to check out the other one. Stranger Things, a little bit of a scary, creepy show. I've never gotten in that into it, but some people really like it. The Walking Dead, there it is. There's a few TV shows as well. A bunch of good stuff to watch. Uh, House of Cards, that was a really good one. Uh, Kevin Spacey is gone, though. He got, he got thrown out. Uh, Orange is the New Black, I've heard of that. Supernatural, we talked a little bit about Supernatural. My personal favorite, uh, Black Mirror. If you don't know Black Mirror, please check it out. You will thank me for it. Uh, Peaky Blinders, really like that one a lot, about a gangs in Britain. Really interesting, good acting, like it. Uh, what else we got? Lethal Weapon, Breaking Bad, some classic ones, and then some other stuff, Dancing with the Stars, Athletes, okay, so you got some other stuff. A little reality TV, Black Mirror, that's what I'm talking about, Nick, exactly. All right, Nick knows what's up. So that's what we're going to do today, and then some classic stuff. There's Friends as well. So we're going to talk about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch some movie, we're going to watch some TV trailers, which I know you will dig, you'll like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch a trailer using the links that I'm going to give you on the document that I will share with you, I promise. And what we're going to do is we're also going to go to Rotten Tomatoes, and that's a website we use for uh, giving, no, sorry, I think we're going to use IMDB. No, sorry, that's what we're going to use. We're going to use IMDB, which is a movie website, but also TV shows, for giving reviews and getting some good information that we can use to talk about TV shows. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's change that to IMDb, uh, and then go to IMDb to read the reviews of these TV. Read the. We're going to read the plots, and plots are the story. So if you want to, if you want to talk about a uh, movie story, you say the plot uh, or the synopsis, and we're going to use those. So we're going to read a little bit about that. So you're going to go to IMDb. You're going to read about the plot and the reviews that people write about this. And then, later on, I'm going to get you guys to write your own review. All right, so let's go here. So what's going to happen? I'm going to give you guys some cool stuff to watch. For example, a little 
uh, season one trailer. So the first TV show I think we're going to check out. Oh, let me. I'm jumping ahead. Let me. Let me. Let me go and see what people have said here. So the question was, what is your favorite TV show? So let's start with that, and then once we figure that out, we'll get into the rest. Let me change that. Nope. 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 Okay. Here we go. Make that a little wider, and now we're rocking and rolling. Boom. All right, so there we go. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can read that. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger for you, just so you can see it. All right, so there we go. Nice and clean, looking good. So here we go. What do you guys think? Uh, favorite TV shows? Uh, all right, Iron Fist, Flash, The Mist. Okay, there's a few there. Carlos, Game of Thrones is my cup of tea. All right, your tea is Game of Thrones. I like it. Alex, I like the Big Bang Theory, GOT. GOT is Game of Thrones. If you don't know, get on it. Uh, being a Game of Thrones, friends, okay. Stitch says The Walking Dead. Yeah, I was into The Walking Dead for a little while. Pretty cool show. Grace in Fire. Isn't it Great Under Fire? I feel like it's Grace Under Fire. Black Mirror, absolutely, Nick, you're on point. NCIS, awesome, all right. Game of Thrones, all right. A little more GOT there. Smart English, Julian, you are the winner, brother. That's that's the answer. Uh, sweet Lolly, you're also on the right the right track. Smart English is where it's at. And, uh, well, I don't know. Game of Thrones is still way better than Smart English, but I I appreciate that. Uh, Ziad, what's up, brother? We're talking about TV shows. Let us know your favorite and why you like it. Albina, yeah, okay, good, good. Uh, Walking Dead, all right. Nick, Game of Thrones, Black Mirror, Sherlock. All right, there we go. Judith, I'll be on it. I, I'm just trying to set it up here because I didn't actually finish working on everything today. So let me let me set this up because we're going to get into this. So the first TV show we are going to watch, we're going to watch a trailer. And if you guys don't know trailer, trailer is the, the movie clip, right? We're going to watch a little bit of a trailer of Game of Thrones. So here it is. I'm going to give it to you because I can't watch it on YouTube, but you guys can definitely watch it. And I think this is it here. So here we go. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start you off with this trailer, and then I'm also going to ask you a question. So, so A will be, watch the trailer, watch the trailer, and B will be, uh, so Game of Thrones, so there you go, you're going to watch the trailer first, and then I would like you to describe what do you think what do you think about, uh, what do you think the show, like some of you guys will know Game of Thrones, but some of you guys won't. So what do you think? I want to get your opinion of it. What kind of TV show does it look like? So let's put that question there. So uh, how would you describe the TV show? Write your answer below. OK, so and you guys can just type your answer into the chat. All right, so here we go. Uh, I will give you, let me, let me start you off. Let me give you the document first, and then I'll, we'll get into everything else we're going to do here. So I know this TV show because I watch it a lot. I'm actually watching it again right now and reading the books. I'm a little bit crazy, waiting for the next season to come out. All right, so here we go. If you are new to Smart, please look in the chat, which is right there. And I've shared a document with you, so you guys can open the document and you can see everything that we're working on today and any new vocabulary that you get you will have a copy of it if you have Google Docs so I do all the work for you all you have to do is open it up alright so here we go so the first one we're gonna watch today is Game of Thrones so I'm gonna if you've never seen Game of Thrones that's better because I want you to give me your opinion what kind of TV show does it look like I want you to give me your answer after you watch it so let me close that one here alright so here we go here's the first link so what you're going to do, I want you to watch that TV show, watch this link, watch this trailer, and then explain, describe, how, how would you describe it? And then describe what you think the show is like. Okay, so here we go. There's your first assignment. Go ahead. The, it's a YouTube link right there. You go check it out. I'll pull up some pictures. And we're going to talk once you're done. I want you to describe Game of Thrones once you're done. So go ahead. There you go. Well, you, Lolly, you need to get on this, man. Like we've been, everyone's saying GOT, GOT, and you're like, what's GOT? Watch the trailer, okay? You'll like it. I think you'll like it. Everybody loves it. It's 
awesome. I don't know. There's some there's some bloodiness in it, but not in the trailer. So go ahead, watch that trailer, come back, tell me what kind of TV show do you think it is, okay? And while you're doing that, I'm going to go into here, and I'm also going to go into here. So let's look at some Game of Thrones GIFs. All right, so here we go. You know I'm going to gift this one up. So there we go. So here's a little Game of Thrones. It's very clippy. Okay, not too sure what I can show you here. There's a little bit of clips here. Is that a gift? No, that's just a picture. Oh, here we go. Here we got a little Game of Thrones. Look at this. Is it, does that freak you out? It shouldn't freak you out. It's not too bad, right? But there we go. That's a little Game of Thrones. Something that might have happened in one of the seasons. What else? Oh, there's Arya. There we go. Arya Stark. Someone else there. Why aren't these gifts not working? What else we got here? Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. A little Khaleesi, a little mother of dragons going on right there. What else we got here? Okay, so as soon as you guys are done, come on back and you tell me what exactly you think about that, that, uh, that trailer. Does it look interesting? Tell me all about it. And I'll put that in there. How would you describe it? Uh, how would you describe the TV show? Watch the trail. Watch the link. Watch the trailer. Then write your answers below. All right. So there it is. That's so. That's number one. Game of Thrones. Well, that's okay. It's not opening. Why is it not opening? It should be opening. Let's try that one more time. Well, here we go. Let's go one more time. That should be. If not, all you can do is Google Game of Thrones on YouTube, season one. So Game of Thrones trailer, season one. And you tell me what it looks like. What kind of TV show does it look like? I am not allowed to watch it, unfortunately. Uh, so what I'll do, yeah, the volume's very, my volume's very low. Okay, well, let's fix that up. What's going on? Why is my volume so low? Desktop audio. No, no I think it's pretty. Let's pump it up a little bit here. Why is it so low? Yeah, okay. How do I pump you up? Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to figure it out. I'll try to pump it up. I'll try to speak loud. I know that'll keep it going for now. I don't know why it's so quiet today. It, it has gone down. All right, so there we go. Um, you can kind of hear me. Let me pump myself up a little bit more. Pump, 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 pump. Nope. Where are we going here? Input draw. Pump, 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 pump. Nope. I'll figure it out later, guys. Sorry. I'll try to keep keep my mic nice and tight up here. I don't know why it's so quiet today. Mm -hmm. An epic movie. Good word. Okay. So let's put that into our into our chat here. So we're going to talk about some vocab. So here we go. An epic journey is something you could say, right? So vocabulary. Epic. Right? Epic is a good word we use to describe something which is really uh, a big story. How can I explain epic? It's kind of hard. So let's put that in there. So the first word is epic. And what would be the meaning of epic? I think I'll have to Google that and get a good explanation. Let's see here. Epic definition. All right, so here we go. Heroic. There we go. That's what I wanted. Heroic, like, you know, a hero does this kind of thing. Grand scale, big character, kind of ambitious is another way. So there we go, is a way, or better yet, this one here, particularly impressive, like wow, or remarkable. So let's just use that one because that's a good explanation for it. So there we go. Impressive, something which is really impressive, remarkable. That would be an epic movie, an epic TV show. Yes, totally agree. Uh, well, it's definitely not historic. It's fantasy. So a fantasy, what would, you, what would you call it? No, it's not a movie. It's a, it's a trailer. Did I say movie? I think I said TV show. No, no, we're watching TV shows today. No movies. So it's an epic TV show. Yes, I agree. Uh, Ziad says, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but just from watching the trailer, it looks like some groups of people fighting over controlling a kingdom. Yes, you got the basic idea. There you go. That's pretty much it. So it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. Um, 
fantasy series, a fantasy TV show. I don't know how to explain that. Let's put you back to normal. Okay, so fantasy, not reality, not historic. Imagination, dreamlike. All right, so there we go. Historical, it's spectacular, intense, good, good some words there. Intense is a good word. So intense is like serious, right? Maybe there's lots of fighting, lots of action, uh, lots of emotion. You would call that intense. So what's a good definition of intense? Strong, I suppose, intense. What is Google saying? Extreme force, degree, or strength. Uh, number two, showing strong feelings. So everything is really strong. So you can think of it as extreme. That's a good match for it. Extreme, serious, an intense TV show. Yeah, it is pretty intense. There's some serious moments. I was just watching one of the most serious moments for me. It was the end of one of the, almost the end of season three. There was a wedding. You know what I'm talking about? That was a crazy one. I'll be honest. That was nuts. All right, so where, what else we got here? It's a drama. Yeah, it's a drama. It's dramatic, right? So that's a good word we can use to describe TV shows. A dramatic TV show. Lots of emotions. Uh, things going up, things going down, things going left, right. Uh, how would you ex explain dramatic? A mix of emotions. Dramatic. Relating to drama. Exciting or impressive. Sudden and striking. Yeah. Considerable, substantial. Sudden and striking. That's an interesting one. Think of it as kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Red Wedding, that's what I'm talking about, Carlos. You know it. It is pretty terrific. You should check it out, CVC, CVCV442. You sound like a robot, but you should check it out. It's totally awesome. Uh, yeah, well, don't spoil, Nick. Come on, man. Some of these people haven't seen this before. Uh, so just just cool. Just But what, here's what we're going to do. What I want you guys to do, I want you to check this out. So here we, here we go. Let me show you this, because this is uh, s the storyline. I want to show you the storyline of Game of Thrones. So here we go. So I'm going to add that right here, storyline. So we can look at this, and you can read it as well. So I got this from IMDB. So let me send you this link. So if you go to this website here, and you scroll down, so check this out. Yes, good one. It's a based on a book. Let's add that. That's good vocab as well. So based on. Uh, da -da. based on so let's say be based on it is based on so let's call that a qualification it's based on a book comes from the book comes from something based on something usually a book All right, so you say the, the TV show is based on the books, or, yeah, and then there you go. Yeah, it is a medieval story as well. All right, so if you could go here, go check out IMDb, and if you go here, go to the top here, and here's Game of Thrones, and you can see all about it. 9.5 out of 10. Can you believe that? It's amazing. you got to start watching this TV show. So Kent told you that's your homework, so please listen to him and go check that out. Uh, so there we go. It's 9.5 out of 10. Uh, so if you scroll down here, you can see a synopsis. Uh, where is it? Right down here, down, 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 down. And here it is. Here's a storyline right here. So here, let's read about that. I put that in your document as well, just so you can see it. So here's the storyline. So let's uh, let's do that on here because it'll it'll fix the size. So here we go. In the mythical continent, mythical, magical, right? So like a legend. Mythical is a good word. Continent, right? Africa is a continent. North America is a continent of Westeros, several powerful families fight for control of the Seven Kingdoms. So there's seven different groups and they're always fighting together. A conflict, or sorry, as conflict erupts, explodes, conflict fights, right, in the kingdoms of men, an ancient enemy, an old enemy, rises, comes back once again to threaten them all. Try, you know, yeah, there's danger, right? Meanwhile, at the same time, the last heirs. Here's a new word for you. Heirs. The people... If a king has a son, the son is the heir. Okay, so the last heirs, maybe a couple sons, of a recently usurped dynasty. Uh, usurped means when you take control. Uh, right? If, uh, for example, if there's a government, 
and another group takes control of the government, they usurp, they, they usurp the government. So of a recently usurped dynasty, like a kingdom, something like this, like a historic group, uh, plot, plan to take back uh, their homeland from across the narrow sea, written by Sam Gray. So there we go, here's a new word for you, mythical. Good word to describe. So it's a mythical story, right? We can use this word, and we can use this word later to describe a lot of other stuff. Mythical. Um, how would you describe mythical? Mythical story occurring in the characteristic na, 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 na. fictitious. Fiction. Fictitious. All right, so there we go. Good word, right? What else we got here? Um, we had mythical con continent, control, usurp was a good word. A conflict erupts. What does erupts mean? Erupts is like explodes, like a volcano erupts. Let's check out a volcano erupting. And we can check out some Game of Thrones as well. So let me show you a gif of erupt. People can also erupt. So let's take a look here. Erupt gifs. This is erupt. Look at this. That's, that's what volcanoes do all the time they erupt boom just like that they explode so violence erupts conflict erupts volcanoes erupt and people also erupt let's take a look at people erupting are there any people here no only volcanoes I wanted to see some people erupt but people also erupt oh look at that chef Boyardee <laughs> give it a little cook you know what I mean if you're hungry a little chef Boyardee will hit the spot all right, so there we go. Nice word, erupt. And uh, did I add that? Erupt is another way to say explode, and it's a verb. So you could say conflict erupts, a war erupts. Awesome, like explodes. Very nice. Good word. Uh, next, what else do we got here? Uh, I want to add that word usurped. So ancient enemy rises again, threaten them all. La, 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 la. Heirs. Heirs are, let me put that word in there, your heirs. So if you have a son or a daughter, they are your heirs, right? You have an heir or heirs. So children, children who will receive your wealth, status, right? So if you're a king and you have a son, your son will be king eventually. So, so he's your heir. And also if you, you know, uh, so anything that a child will take after you die is your heir. Yeah, so there you go. There's another one. JB says, broke out. Conflict and violence broke out, right? Started to happen. Usurp. Yes, correct, Lolly. Very nice. Good word. Usurper. Uh, let's add that. That's an old school word. Usurp. Usurp. And she had the explanation of it, which was uh, usurp. Take control illegally. Yeah, I, I believe so. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Usurp. Usurper. And they use that word a lot in the TV show. So you can... You can uh, learn some new words from watching. Take position, yeah, exactly. So take power means take power illegally. Control illegally. Usurp. All right, very nice. Okay, next one. Let's go, let's change the theme a little bit. So we got there. Uh, we did a little bit of that. And maybe we can use some of these words later to, uh, to write our own. Okay, so let's check out another one. Next TV show we're going to look at is, so here's what we're going to do. So first one is Game of Thrones. The next one we're going to do is Black Mirror. Yes, that's right. This is Kent's favorites, basically. Uh, whatever Kent watches, you have to do today, unfortunately. But the good news is I'm giving you cool stuff. If you guys already know what I'm talking about, then this is more of a, more of a vocab learning lesson for you today. But... I'm going to try to show you some new stuff as well. So hang in there. We're going to get to some new stuff. So if you haven't seen it before, Black Mirror. So again, if you haven't seen it before, watch the trailer. Uh, oh, season one's terrible. I'm going to show you season three because season one, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty terrible. Uh, so I'm going to show you season three. Um, check it out. Tell me what do you think is it what do you think the TV show is about? Try to explain the TV show. And if you guys have already seen Black Mirror, I want you to do your best to explain the TV show again. Imagine I haven't seen Black Mirror before. You want to explain it to me. 
So that's what I want you to do. So here's trailer number two. I am I do have I think I'm borrowing someone's Netflix account, JB. I don't really have my own, but I have a Spanish account. My Colombian <laughs> friend loaned me her uh, Netflix, so I kind of check that out sometimes. All right, so there we go. There it is. Uh, so go ahead, watch that link. It's right there. Watch it, and you tell me what kind of TV show have you. What do you think it is? Have I seen the robot show, Mr. Robot? Yeah, I watched episode one. It didn't grab me too much, but uh, I've heard good things about it. I've heard it's all right. Well, yeah, everybody would like that subscription, Julian. That's for sure. All right, so there you go. Uh, what else we got here? Did I miss anything? Heritage Airs. Yeah. Oh, I never even thought about that. Heritage probably does connect to Airs. Yeah. Seize control. Good words. Seize power. Let me add that. That's a good one, JB. You seize power. You usurp. But you seize means take. So you seize power from another group. Take control. Uh, usually by force, I believe. Right? Usually by force. No choice. Seize control. The police might seize your stuff, right? If you if you piss them off. All right. So there we go. Go ahead and check it out. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go to the synopsis of Black Mirror, and we're going to read about it and learn some vocab from it. So whenever you're done watching the movie trailer, come back, start typing, start telling me about what do you think the TV show is about. And of course, if you've seen that TV show, give us you know try to describe it in English. That's your that's your homework. The link is not working. Okay, that's no problem. Just YouTube Black Mirror Season 1. Season 3, not Season 1. Don't do Season 1. Season 3 trailer. This is what you need to search. So go to YouTube, search that, and you'll find everything you need. Season Black Mirror Season 3 trailer. All right, and while you're doing that, I'm going to go in and check out the synopsis here. Let's see what they say about Black Mirror. Uh-huh. And where was it? Storyline. Here it is. All right, and here's the storyline. And there's more, right? If you want, you can read the plot summary or the plot synopsis, and you'll get a lot more. I'm just doing this because it's small, and I don't want to blow up your brains with too much vocab today, so I'm just doing some small ones. So here we go. Storyline. Black Mirror. Suspenseful. Yeah, there's a good word. Suspenseful. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Black Mirror, how else would you describe Black Mirror? Suspenseful? Yeah, okay, suspenseful. Mm -hmm. How would you describe suspenseful? Arousing excited expectation or uncertainty about what happened. Uh, okay. Exciting expectations or uncertainty suspenseful right it's like you don't know what's gonna happen right uncertainty about outcomes so you don't know what's gonna happen is it a thriller um no the black mirror is an awesome dark look at the world in the future and all the so every episode is different and every episode you get new actors and new storylines and totally not connected. That's not a series. It's not a series in the way that the story is connected. They're totally separate. It's futuristic, good word. So basically it's it's a dark look at the future. And it's so interesting because all the topics, you look at the topics in the future and you think, oh my God, that's possible, right? Maybe in 50 years that can happen. Or maybe that one there in, in you know 25 years, that one can happen. So it's really intriguing, good word, intriguing. Be, it was really interesting because you think, wow, I think some of those things are possible. Look at Google. Google's scary. Google is Skynet. You know Skynet from the Terminator? It, it could be Google. Google. So there we go. Uh, no, it's definitely not satirical. It's a, Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's kind of funny, but it's, uh, like I said, it's a dark look, black mirror. It's a dark look at the future. Intriguing. How would you explain it? Intriguing. Super interesting. Yeah, fascinating. There we go. Another way to say fascinating. Uh -huh. How do I turn up my sound? I just don't want to turn it up. Oh, there I go. Yeah. Why is technology always such a pain in the butt? I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. Hopefully, you guys can hear me okay. 
and try to keep that all nice and tight. Uh, all right, so there we go. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Black Mirror? Okay, while you're while you're thinking, let me pull up some synopsis. Uh, Nick says it looks like it is. It is based on future, the future digital age, and it's also intense, serious. BGM. What's BGM? Gave me a gloomy feeling. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, a little bit. It's interesting though. Like the the topics are so cool. Sergio, it's about future technology. Yes, totally. Uh, I like the people going into fake realities or something like that. Social media, lots of social media. The first episode of season three is just, I mean, they're all amazing. They're really all. If you want a high quality TV show, check out HBO because HBO does Game of Thrones, HBO does Black Mirror, I think. I think it's HBO, right? Uh, so anyways, check them out. So here we go. Here's, here's what they actually say about Black Mirror, about the storyline. So let me pull that up here. So let's, let's talk about it here. So here we go. So this is Black Mirror. Set in a world. What does that mean, set? Uh, set means located. So it's another way to say located. Set in. And we usually say that. Set in something. Set in a world. Set in a land. So it's a collocation that we often use, which basically means located. Uh, and usually it is set. Be set in. Be located in. Oh, sorry, Let's use the same word, located. Okay, so there we go, first new word. So set in a world only minutes from our own, right? In the future, just minutes into the future. Black Mirror unveils, ooh, good word, unveils, shows how modern technologies can backfire. You shoot a gun and usually the bullet goes this way. But sometimes you shoot a gun and the bullet goes this way and it, that's called a backfire. And sometimes your car backfires, right? It's supposed to like go like this, but it goes boom, and we call it a backfire. So sometimes technologies uh, backfire and are used against their makers, and their makers, the people who create them. Every episode set, again, located in a slightly different reality with different characters combating, fighting, different types of technologies awesome so it's everything it's kind of about people and the future and the other cool thing yep yeah, backfire nice word the other cool thing well not cool but it's it's part of the series everybody in black mirror gets screwed in some way like it's every tv show is ho has a horrible something horrible happens every time except one episode so enjoy that one episode where there's actually one nice thing that happens all right, so a few new words of which we wanted to use. Set in a world, unveils. Unveil is a word that we use to mean show. So if you didn't know that word, veil is like a like a curtain almost. You know, you have a veil. Some women have a veil on their wedding day. So unveil would be show. So unveil, show. Good word there. Uh, what else did they have? Every episode set in a slightly different reality with different characters combat combating so it is just another way to say fight but using it as a verb so a combat yes or combat someone yes also fight all right there we go uh, what else did you guys have to say about this yes oh and backfire of course backfire used as a verb uh, when how do you explain backfire when something doesn't when something works in the opposite you have a plan you want to do something but it doesn't happen the opposite happens your plan backfired. Uh, rebound, yeah, the opposite effect. So the opposite of your plan. The opposite, uh, something, something happens which is the opposite of your plan. My car backfired. My plan backfired. My, my, my f escape to Hawaii backfired and it was didn't work you know what I mean something like that something happens which is the opposite of your plan backfire good word that we use uh, all right so we're, what else we got here stitch yeah, yeah screwed JB screwed suffer misfortune failure tragedy correct just like that excessive set is film isn't it uh, the film is set uh, that's how you say it reveal yeah uh, movie shows the, the TV show shows humanities know the 
Because when you talk about humanity in English, we don't use that. We'll just say humanity is all. It's kind of the opposite of Portuguese, I think. Humanity's relationship with future technology. Yeah, good. Check it out. I think you guys will like it. And that's, that's what I like to do. I like to show my students new TV shows so you guys go home, watch it, and you improve your English. Bada bing, bada boom. You get two things for the price of one. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's Because we had some TV shows here. Let's see what else we got. What else is good? I want to recommend some good stuff to you guys. Uh, Stranger Things, Big Bang. Uh, I might recommend, what's my other favorite TV show? Uh, where is it? I'm going to recommend this one to you, Peaky Blinders. Check this one out. All right, so here's what you can do. Uh, can you search this TV show here? Sherlock. Actually, that's a good show. Let's, let's do Sherlock. Sherlock, season one. Oh, there's just so many guys. I know everybody's got a favorite TV show, uh, but I won't have time to do them all. So we're just going to do a few today, and we're going to try to get some good vocab. So Sherlock season, season one trailer. Please search that on YouTube and check it out and tell me what kind of TV show do you think it is while I search it on IMDb. Um, this is a good one. I know students really like this one. Uh, it's intelligent. Uh, it's, it's, it's clever, right? It makes you think a lot. Uh, so check it out, watch the trailer, and you tell me what you think about this kind of TV show. What is it? So here we go, Sherlock. And let me let me pull it up here as well. There it is, Benedict Cumberbatch. If you don't know that guy, he's a, quite a good actor. Uh, and there's the trailer right there. So go ahead, watch season one, episode one. And I'm just going to go and jump into this. Mm -hmm. Storyline. All right, next one. All right, the next one is that Sherlock. All right, so go ahead and once you're once you've watched it, you uh, let me know what you think about this one here. Yes, he is. So maybe while you guys are doing that, I'll wait till you guys are done. Uh, interesting TV show, right? Uh, so he's a private investigator or a private detective. So let me put that in there. Somebody who investigates, right? They search, they look for crimes, they investigate crimes. So a private detective, and a, de a detective detects. They look for things, right? Uh, how do I explain a private detective? Private investigator, okay, so somebody, a freelance detective, like, like a police officer, but private almost, right? Sometimes they have the same abilities. Uh, yes, it is a crime drama. Um, so it's Sherlock Holmes. You guys know Sherlock Holmes, right? Let's do a little Sherlock. And there was the movie that came out a while ago, right? Uh, with uh, Robert Downey Jr. He's quite good in that. Sherlock, so here we go. There's the man right there. I don't have friends. Yeah. Well, he's a very smart man, right? So he doesn't have a lot of friends unless they're very smart. Here we go. Here's a little Sherlock freaking. <laughs> Look at this. I like it. Shut up, everybody. Don't move. Don't speak. Don't breathe. I'm trying to think. There we go. Sounds like Sherlock, right? What else we got here? A little hashtag awkward. That guy. You know. I don't know what his name is, but... He did, uh, didn't he do Game of, no, not Game of Thrones, uh, Lord of the Rings, right? All right, so there it is. So you can see he's a brilliant detective. He's a genius, right? The game is on. There we go. So what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, under, there we go. Good word. Undercover. A private detective, uh, similar to a private, private police officer, kind of, right? Okay. Undercover is a good word. So undercover is when you are secretly doing something. Like an undercover police officer wears normal clothes, right? So undercover. So yeah, he's is he is he undercover? I'm not sure. Uh, but it's when you disguise yourself. Oneself to to look normal. Usually police.
Okay. Yeah, he's a detective, exactly. Uh, yeah, it was, and again, it was based on the books. I, I maybe, um, could be. Uh, he is a super detective that re that solves, no resolve, but just solves every case. And yes, that's a good word, solve. Of course, um, fix, solve something. Uh, how would you explain solve? Anyways, you guys know what solve is, so that's fine. Uh, Julian, do I like Flash? Uh, I personally don't. It's not my style. I, I uh, and you know, Flash is filmed here in Vancouver. So if you ever watch the Flash, uh, I've seen the Flash being filmed downtown Vancouver. Uh, so let's check out Flash TV show Vancouver, and let's see what maybe you can recognize something from this TV show. A lot of TV shows are filmed in Vancouver, and there he is, right there. He's got the suit, and this is right near the library. Is this the library? Oh, well, maybe not. But uh, so you can see, a lot of movies are filmed in Vancouver. Uh, that's Vancouver right there. So if you've ever seen that in the TV show, that's Science World, which is right there. Uh, there we go. Flash helping out everybody, even when he's on break. Look at that. What a nice guy. So there we go. Uh, yeah, and then also, if you didn't know, um, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is from uh, Vancouver, BC. So a lot of Deadpool was shot in downtown Vancouver as well. All right, so tell me what you guys think about that TV show, and uh, let's get into the synopsis. Uh, so yeah, he solves criminal puzzles. Yeah, exactly, he solves crimes. So here we go. Let's look at this. In this modernized version, uh, of the Conan Doyle character, so I guess that was the person who wrote the books, using his detective plots, and plots is another word for stories, right? So let's add that there. So if you're talking about uh, books and movies, we usually use the word plots. What's the movie plot? What's the book plot uh, rather than story? But you can use story as well. It's the same. Stories. Uh, so a let's use it. Singular, a plot is the story of a book or movie. All right, so there we go. So his detective plot. Sherlock Holmes lived in the early 21st century London and acts more cocky towards Scotland Yard's detective inspector Lestrade because he's actually less confident. Okay, interesting. Cocky. If you don't know this word, cocky means arrogant. It's another way to say, and if you know the root of the word, then you'll kind of figure out why it means arrogant. So cocky means arrogant. I'm not helping you any more than that. Uh, all right, so there we go, because he's less confident. Dr. Watson, his assistant, is now a fairly young veteran. And a veteran is somebody who has a lot of experience. So I always talk about my smart veterans. You know, you know who you are, Pilar. Uh, Gertrudis, Judith, Lolly, you guys, Julian, you guys are all veterans. Zia's a veteran, right? So you guys are here all the time, so I call you my veteran. So a veteran is somebody experienced, normally in war, but it could be for other things as well, usually for war. A veteran. Uh, an experienced individual, often from war. There we go. Okay, uh, and did I finish here? Just finish up here. So, young veteran of the Afghan war, less adoring and more active. Um, I'm not sure why the word adoring there, but more active. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's another TV show that you guys can check out. And, ooh, nice word there. What do we got here? And says, this TV show is one of my favorites. As for me, the only disadvantage of the Sherlock show, it's too short. Okay, so there we go. Gertrude's script is the writing of the... So what do the actors say? That's the script. The plot is the story of the movie or the story of the book. Judith, embroiled in mysteries. Ooh, very nice. Good word, embroil. Uh, you can think of uh, embroiled as like mixed up, maybe like a mixed up in mysteries mixed up in something. I use a phrasal verb to explain that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, uh, good. All right. Very nice. So next one, let's jump into the next one. And the next TV show I'm going to show you guys is a little bit more of a mafia type. So I would like you to search Peaky Blinders Season 1 Trailer. 
So a little bit of a little bit of mafia this time, and then maybe if we got time, we'll finish on a comedy because we should definitely check out something like that. So please Google that. Please go to Peaky Blinders season one trailer. And I'd like you to check that out. So let's take a look while you guys are doing that. I'll take a look here. So this is the cast here of Peaky Blinders. Uh, really starts off good show and it builds a lot. Um, like a lot of shows, it's you know it's uh, the storylines get crazier and crazier. That seems to be a theme these days with a lot of TV shows. But it's based on being a gang. These guys came back from, I think it was the Second World War, and they start a gang. And if you don't know that word, let me add that to there. A gang, it's a, it's a group of people who do crimes, usually, right? Gang. Group of people who do commit crimes. Who often commit crimes could be just a group you could call your friends the gang right let's go hang out with the gang the criminals uh, it's kind of funny uh, so a group of people who often commit crimes would be a gang and let's take a look on IMDB what they have to say about that because that's a really good one really good quality acting I really like that one a lot Peaky Blinders and they have great accents as well uh, okay so there we go it's based in London it's based in Birmingham uh-oh, Julian doesn't like that one. Not a little bit too gangster for him, maybe? Uh, so what do you guys think? Give me your opinion. What does it look like? What kind of TV show does it look like to you? And again, maybe you can use some of the vocab that we've used today. Um, a dramatic look at crime in England? Is it based on something? I don't know. Uh, violence erupts in the streets of uh, Birmingham. Um, suspenseful, lots of action, an intriguing storyline. Ooh, unveil show. So uh, gangs combat each other. So you can use some of these words to, to talk about them as well. Action-packed is a good one. I don't think it's action-packed. Uh, it's, it's, it's not Fast and the Furious. Uh, it's a mafia-style movie, which is, uh, so there's, there's more about, you know, business. And there's, there's definitely action scenes, but there, it's not an action movie. Julian says it seems like a basic crime TV show with many actors. So it's not a crime TV show. It's a it's a it's more like a mafia style. So there's these gangs and there are illegal gangs in in Birmingham and they're trying to grow their empire. So there's another word you could use there, empire, an illegal empire. Uh, what do you guys think about that? And let me just show up a quick synopsis here. There's not too much to say about it. A gangster family. So gangsters are people who do illegal activities. A gangster family epic set huh? a gangster family epic set in 1919 Birmingham England centered on it is about that's a good one uh, it be centered on means it is about so be centered on something is a collocation which means uh, is about something and you can say centers on or you can also say centers around, which is also possible. So let's see that. So, so the, you can say the, the story centers on a mafia group in Birmingham, or the, the story centers around, also very good for explaining the story about something. Uh, let's keep it going here. Centered on a gang who sue, who sue, who, oh, so, yeah, they, they actually put razor blades in their hats. I don't think that's the main idea of the movie. That's not a very good write-up. But they do sew razor blades in the peaks of their caps. So they're called the Peaky Blinders because they have these, these like, little, you know when you shave, that's a razor? So they put them in their hat, and they would actually attack people with their razor. So that's a little bit rough for you. So if you don't like blood, eh. If you don't like blood, you probably don't want to watch Game of Thrones. And you probably don't want to watch Peaky Blinders too much because there is a lot in there. Uh, and their fierce boss, Tommy Shelby. So fierce, right? Angry, f uh, strong, powerful, fierce is a good word. Strong and aggressive. All right, so there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Criminal organization, yeah, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones should be rated much higher than that. All right, there we go. So, so what I think we can do, uh, maybe, if we've got a little bit of time, uh, we could do one more TV show. 
But I would also like you to write about one. So if you guys can do this, so for example, we can use some of this language and maybe describe a TV show. So what what will get you to do is this. Uh, think about your favorite TV show. Write. I'm going to use this. Write a storyline, just like this word we used here. Write a storyline for the TV show. What? What is it about? Uh, what is it about? So there we go. So we'll, we can do this maybe two ways. You can you can tell us the TV show, and you can also give us a little synopsis of, of what it's about. So you can choose any TV show that you already watch. And I would like you guys, if possible, to use, use some of these words, right? Use epic, use fantasy, use intense, use dramatic, use based on something, uh, erupt, airs, usurp, a lot of good words here that we can use to describe uh, movies and TV shows. So go ahead, I'd like you guys to recommend one of your favorite TV shows, maybe something you watched in the past, something you're watching now, and if possible, use some of these words to, to describe. So for example, it centers around, or it centers on something, or the plot is about. So let's see, what TV show am I going to talk about? Because I'm going to give you a new TV show as well. Uh, so let's see, TV shows. Now what else do I watch? Uh, let's see here. Those are my favorites. The Walking Dead. Oh, I'm going to do The Walking Dead. Of course I'm going to do it. So I don't watch The Walking Dead anymore, but at one time I was really into The Walking Dead. I used to watch a lot. Do you guys know The Walking Dead? Let's do a quick thing. If you don't know, it's about zombies. Um, I don't know. And that was my Halloween costume. Actually, this guy. Check it out. Check it out. This is a perfect time. See that guy there? I did him for a Halloween costume. Let me pull it up while you guys are here. I, I kind of want to show you my Halloween costume. Because Halloween's coming. Oh, we're going to have to talk about Halloween. We're going to be doing a class on Halloween. You bet your bottom dollar we will. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Maybe a little bit closer to Halloween, but we will be doing one. And I will be showing you more, more Halloween stuff. And maybe, just maybe, I'll tell you what my Halloween costume is going to be this year. But let me get into this while we're doing it. I'm going to show you my Halloween costume from last year. Uh, I'm pulling it up right now. So, uh-oh. Something tells me I left my Facebook open at work. No, I'm good. Sweet. All right, so where am I? I lost my train of thought. Walking Dead, yes. Okay, so I'm going to write about The Walking Dead, and I want you guys to write... Oh, no, JB. Oh, no, buddy. Come on. Trust me. They're, they're not... So what I'd like you guys to do is I want you to write uh, the storyline, okay? So here we go. I'm going to write about Walking Dead, and I would like you guys to write about something that you watch. So here we go. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to write about uh, my storyline. So, so here we go, writing. Okay. Walking Dead is what I'm going to write about here. Make that a little bit bigger. All right, so here we go, writing, Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is a post-apocalyptic, kind of like the end of the world. Apocalyptic, a post-apocalyptic world which has been overrun there are so many everywhere, like uh, overrun by zombies. There are zombies everywhere. Overrun, there's a new word for you. Uh, so the world has been overrun by zombies, and the remaining survivors are forced to combat. Ooh, see, I even used the word. Uh, combat each other uh, while fighting what else can I use in here uh, while fighting for survival resources and shelter 
So there's a few things. So there we go. See, I've even used my word in there. It's combat. What else can I say about The Walking Dead? Uh, veteran cocky plot. Ah. Okay. Oh, and I can add that here. The plot of The Walking Dead. So here we go. I just added that other word there. So I've got two words in there that I've used. So I've got two words, and I can probably squeeze a few more. Veteran, embroil, gang, centers. Ooh, there we go. Centers. The plot of The Walking Dead centers on. Boom. Look at that. Killing it. Centers on a post-apocalyptic world which has been overrun by zombies, of course. And the remaining survivors are forced to combat each other while fighting for survival, resources, and shelter. Boom! So there we go. See, I put three of those words that we learned today, put them all in there together. Post-apocalyptic, yeah. So I'm using it as an adjective. That's why I have the IC in there. All right. So tell me about your favorite TV show, um, the comic. Okay, never heard of that. TWD, Julian says, a TV show, uh, this TV show is an end of the world, end of the world TV series of Devil, oh, okay, you're doing The Walking Dead, okay, the same thing, uh, is, is a series of devil monsters called zombies with remaining survivors that are forced to combat. There we go, very nice, same, same idea, combat to survive. Fighting erupts, yes, exactly, fighting erupts all the time in uh, The Walking Dead, if you've never seen it. It's a lot of zombies and a lot of blood, so if you don't like zombies and blood, I don't recommend it. Overrun, when you have, uh, imagine, imagine zombies come into your town, and there are millions of zombies. There are not millions of you, but there are millions of zombies. So your town was overrun. The zombies overran your town. Basically, a lot of some animal or some group come in and take control. Usually, it's for things. All right, what else we got here? Yes, they combat to stay alive. I agree. Con Conrado, Conrado. I enjoy watching Game of Thrones because it is it is based. Don't forget your B verb. It is based on uh, based on an RPG, a role playing game, uh, and I love it. Um, I'm sorry, as it is as with as it is with Lord of the Rings. There we go. Sergio, I am more the person who watches, ES, watches anime more than a real person series, okay? And I love them. For example, I have been watching this anime called One Piece. I've heard of One Piece, which is awesome, and it's about pirates exploring the ocean. So there we go. What else we got? Uh, Nick, the plot of Sherlock centers on a crime world. There you go, there you go, very nice. What else we got here? Sergio, I also watch Netflix sometimes, but it isn't my, my, my style, my taste, yeah? Canada was overrun by Europeans. Yes, that's totally true, JB. It definitely was at one point. Uh, they just took over and took control, and I'm one of them. Uh, maybe it wasn't one of the British ones, but I was one of the, the Polish-Ukrainian ones. My, my ancestors were anyways, my grandparents. All right, so there we go. What else can you tell me? Give, me? give me some of those. I want you guys to use some of those words before we leave today. So take some of these words and give me a sentence, right? Give me, give me something about a TV show you like, maybe just one sentence um, that you can use. This is a good topic. I like talking about TV. I might do this with my class tomorrow. Uh, Polish-Ukrainian, my friend. The Polish-Ukrainian. Last name is Polish, but three-quarters of my family is actually Ukrainian. So I'm more Ukrainian than Polish in the background. But very Canadian because, you know, I'm so polite and all that stuff. All right, so tell me, tell me, give me a few sentences uh, about TV shows. Which TV shows do you like? So answer this question before we go. Uh, use today's vocab to describe TV shows you like and what they are about. Vladimir, glory to the Ukraine. Absolutely, buddy. Pierogies for glory to Ukraine and pierogies. I love them. They're damn good. And what they are about. All right, so there you go. Make me a few sentences before you go, and I think we'll, we'll be good, and you'll, you'll have used some useful vocab to talk about this stuff. Is my mic still quiet? Can you guys still not hear me very well, or have I picked up? I feel like nobody's, nobody's said anything. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, and yeah, let me do, are there any others that I recommend? Before we go, maybe, but while you guys are writing, I want to recommend one funny one. Uh, JB says he likes funny TV shows, and this is one of my, 
my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. I always thought it was super funny. So JB, this one's for you. If you haven't seen it, check this one out. It's called Community. Uh, really funny. This is a little bit old. It was quite popular. Uh, the cast is there. They're all super funny. Uh, check out Community. Um, if you like comedies, I really enjoyed this one. You get into the characters. There's a lot of craziness, and the actors are good and really funny. Uh, Sergio, question. This is my first time watching you, and I want to keep watching it. So when and at what time are the classes camp? All right. So JB is already on it. Very nice. Fuller House is a little bit old, Julian. Uh, but that's okay. Check it out, too. Uh, so, Sergio, the classes are Monday at 3.30 p.m. Vancouver time and also Thursday at 2.30 p.m. also Vancouver time. All right, so uh, I think that's about it. Um, I think we've gone through a little bit of stuff. Yes, 2.30 p.m. Pilar knows it. Uh, oh, here we go. Fine. There we go. Gertrudis has got one. Here we go. My favorite TV series was Grey's Anatomy, apostrophe uh, S, because its plot was centered about, centered on, centered around or centered on normal situations that take place in a hospital with veteran, no S, doctors. It is fictional or it is a drama. There you go. Very nice. Okay, perfect, Gertrudis. Good. We got one. I understand it's Monday, guys. It's taking a little while to, you know, get into the swing of things. Here we go. Lollies are there. We go. Amazing. Here we go. Lolly says the plot is centered, again, centered on, centered around, uh, is centered around a private investigator who solves a lot of enigmas. I don't know if we'd use an enigma. Can I use that word? Let me check it out. Enigma definition. A person or thing that is mysterious. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I guess we just don't use that word very often in English, but it's correct. Normally we would say mystery or something like that. But yeah, enigma is fine, totally fine. Okay, there we go. Enigmatic, yes, that's a good word as well. All right, so I think we're good there. Anyone else have any TV show plots that they'd like to share? Do you have any more TV shows that I could share with you guys? Uh, yeah, for comedy, I really liked uh, the community, community TV show. Um, what else? Comedy? I don't know. I haven't watched too many comedies recently. Do love the Black Mirror, Supernatural, The Good Doctor. Mm, I'm trying to think what else I watch. I got into this a little bit for a while, House of Cards. Uh, but for for me, it uh, it didn't do it for me. Eventually, the first season was good. After that, didn't feel it anymore. Um, Stranger Things. I've heard really good things about this. I watched the first episode. I wasn't a huge fan, but I know some people really like Stranger Things. So if you want, you could always check out that one as well. That one should be on Netflix. There it is right there, Stranger Things. All right, here we go. Carlos has got one. And is GOT. Good way to finish. Uh, the plot of Game of Thrones is interesting from the first episode of the first season. It has drama, adventure, action, and a wonderful story. It was set in fascinating medieval European castles. Very nice, buddy. Good. Set in. Perfect. All right. So I think that's it. We did a little bit of stuff about TV shows. Hopefully, I got you guys interested in a few TV shows that you can watch. It would have been nice to do a few more. But it takes a little bit of time, you know, to do everything. So go home. Watch TV. It will improve your English. Uh, some of these websites you can find. Uh, with subtitles. Uh, I'll get to that one second, buddy. Uh, this one is also, I've heard, is quite good. Very emotional story, uh, but I've heard it's quite good. It's called This Is Us. Um, very sad stuff, some, but I've heard that the acting is good. Um, so that's another one you could check out. This Is Us. Uh, good drama. What is it about? The series follows the lives uh, and families of two parents and their three children born on their Father's Day. Anyways, there's another one you could check out. Um, let me let me get Julian's before we get out of here. Where did he have? Here we go. Uh, Julian says my favorite TV series is an anime called Fairy Tale. The plot is centered on a guild on guild fights. No A, just guild fights. Guild fights. Uh, okay, so the plot is centered on guilds, which fight other guilds, and save no S lives L I V E S. It is action, comedy. It is an action and comedy TV series. Okay, so there we go. There's another one you guys can check out. Fairy Tale. Uh, Nick's got one here. Sherlock is a private detective who is crazy about crime. Even, even he even wants. So even after he even wants a lot. 
of crime to have fun solving mysteries. Okay, so he even enjoys solve. I don't know. Uh, he even enjoys solving crimes. Um, that's another one. Okay, while we're at it, before we go, um, that '70s show. If you guys haven't seen this one, this one was really funny. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a comedy. It's pretty funny. Um, check this one out. This one was very popular. Uh, it's it's not actually an old TV show, but the show was was uh, based on the 70s. The show is set in the 70s, so everybody wears old clothes, uh, they talk about old topics, uh, but it's a comedy, it's really funny. Uh, I would definitely check out this one if you're looking for another, yeah, it was set in the 70s. Exactly, so if you want, check out this one. This one's really funny, uh, and there's lots of seasons that you can watch. A lot of this stuff should be on Netflix, but if it's not, remember, there's always a way to get free stuff on the internet, so go check it out. A retro series, yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, really funny, good actors. Um, check that one out. I think you guys will like it as well. Most students know Friends, which is fine. You know, um, for me, not my kind of TV show. Before Friends was really famous, there was another TV show, and it was called Seinfeld. And this one was really funny. So you could also check out that. You can see it's older. You can tell by the hair that it's a little bit older, but it was always really funny. So if you know Jerry Seinfeld, um, that's another one you guys can check out. Seinfeld is really funny. Um, the guy's a comedian, and I guess he wrote the TV. Well, he, he anyways, he was the actor in it. Uh, if you haven't seen Seinfeld, check that one out. That one's also really funny. So there you go. Now, the lesson of this week is go home, watch TV, and improve your English, and it will help you to improve your English. Some of the students that I've met who watched a lot of TV, they had really good pronunciation. I was really surprised. This one girl from Japanese, and er, from Japanese, from Japan, and Japanese people traditionally don't always sound really natural, but she sounded super natural. And I was like, what do you do? How did you learn English? And she said, well, I watch a lot of TV shows. And she would also do some reciting and stuff like that. But, but anyway, so there's something useful about TV. You can get some natural stuff out of it. And that's the lesson. Uh, don't forget to check us out. I forgot to plug it. Smart English, here we are. We're on YouTube. We got 126,656 subscribers. Most of them are pretty awesome. Uh, so be one of them. Tell your friends, tell your mother. Check us out uh, next Thursday. I got some ideas brewing up here. And one of these, we will do a Halloween class. But before I go, I think I, I didn't do this. So let me just pull up. Let me just pull up this here because I wanted to show you a uh, Halloween that we had a few years ago. I want to show you how much fun Halloween can be. So where is it here? Yes, here we go. So let me pull that up right here. This is from Halloween a few years ago. And if you see me right there, that's me there. What is my Halloween costume? Uh, you can't really see it right here, but I was, there it is. That's me. I was fat. Batman. Yeah, that's right. Kent took it to the next level. He was fat Batman. So I actually put myself into one of those stretchy suits and I put pillows in my gut and I put a pillow in my butt and I had glowing LED eyes and I had a cape and I even made my fat, I made my Batman logo fat. So there you go. That's how much fun Halloween can be. It was a crazy time. We had a lot of fun, uh, and I'm going to do it again. These are some of my students from my school. They're very cute girls. There we go. Fat Batman hanging out outside, killing students as his job is, right out there. And there it is again. Super Mario hanging out with Super Mario. Very nice. There we go. There's the key. And check that out. I had. And this got a, this was kind of fun. This was uh, this was what we did. We had a bit of a dance off. Eight ten second dance off. All right, guys. Thank you. Not too bad, eh? I wanted to win last year, but I didn't actually didn't actually dream. Didn't actually win. This is all the teachers at my school getting uh, getting jiggy with us. Bad butt, there you go, and a Batman butt. So there we go. I'll say, sparkly eyes are the only eyes. Yeah. And there we go. All right, and with that, I'm going to be out. Batman is out of here for the day. 
Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to talk about more cool stuff on Thursday. So please come back and hang out with us. We love having you here. If you're new, please come out, check us out again. We'll see you later. Have yourselves a great week, and we'll catch up with you again on Thursday. And let's say goodbye to everybody. Bye, crew. Bye, everybody. Have yourselves a great day. Take care. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.